Education Fellow at the Milken Institute and Japan's former Vice Minister for Fiscal and Economic Policy. Tamura-san, thank you so much indeed for your time. You call, the new, you call the new Prime Minister your mentor. So what is he like as a human being, as a person? Uh, he's a very careful, humble, and uh, he's, uh, uh, you know, uh, son of the elder son of the uh, farmer in the very uh, countryside. And uh, he's a doer. He talks less, but do a lot. And he's been taking care of the internal affairs of uh, most like a prime minister. So people call him uh, like a shadow prime minister. So Prime Minister Abe hop around the uh, world, visiting 80 countries in his uh, almost 80 year term. Uh, thanks to Suga san is taking taking care of almost all internal affairs. So he's, uh, he get used to uh, how to handle the bureaucrats, how to handle the government, how to handle the uh, diet. Is he uh, politically ambitious or has this happened by accident? Do you feel that he possibly may have always wanted to be Prime Minister of Japan or is just the circumstances that have produced this moment for him? I think it's a surprise to him as well. So he's not ambitious. Uh, that's why Prime Minister Abe trusts him and uh, giving him uh, a position of the Chief Cabinet Secretary, not changing him for last eight years and uh, uh, delegate almost all internal affairs to him. So I asked him uh, several times, uh, try to be a Prime Minister, but he said, no. I know his, uh, he said, I know he, uh, my limit and uh, I'm good at a shadow. But now uh, he's in the spotlight. So I hope uh, he can handle it. Uh, he's not ambitious. Uh, that means he has nothing to lose. He has nothing to fear. So he can do whatever you, he wants. What he wants is, uh, uh, you know, revitalizing the local economy by uh, uh, reforming uh, Japanese government and uh, corporate cultures, improving uh, SME's uh, productivity by digitizing uh, whole business process. So that's why uh, he's ambitious to set up a new agency called Promotion of Digitizing uh, Agency. So he's all about uh, trying to help rescue uh, Japanese economy, especially countryside economy, revitalizing. So will that be a slightly new direction? Because taking over from the man who became the longest serving prime minister your country has ever known, does that mean that he will have the same inner circle of people, or will he bring in a new team of advisors to take the country in a slightly different direction to Shinzo Abe? So, yeah, Prime Minister Abe is not dead, <laughs> and he's still alive, and he's the best friend to Suga san. So, uh, new Prime Minister Suga san can use uh, Prime Minister Abe's legacy and himself. I'm pretty sure that uh, Prime Minister Abe will help him diplomacy. And uh, Prime Minister Abe's legacy is very big. So I think uh, he can be a good friend with uh, Putin, with uh, Xi Jinping and uh, President Trump, if he can survive in the November election. What do you think of uh, Yoshihide Suga's age? Obviously, experience is important if you're leading a country, but does uh, a 71-year-old know what the younger generation wants? What is the connection between the younger generation and a man like your new prime minister? So he's, uh, he likes young people. He likes to promote young people uh, to climb the ladder of the political uh, uh, steps. So I, I'm pretty sure that you know, he will appoint a uh, new guy, youngsters, into cabinet members, and he will help uh, promote those people and uh, although he's uh, seven, over 70 years old, but he don't drink, and uh, he, he eats only pancakes, <laughs> he said. <laughs> so he's quite healthy, and he do a lot of exercise. So age is uh, not an uh, uh, issue these days. Yeah, he certainly 70 looks very percent of the 70 years old. Yeah, he looks very fit indeed. Kotaro Tamura, thank you so much indeed for joining us on the News Hour.